Hi hey YouTube friends, Alicia here with another video of a junk journal. Uh, this one is not complete, but I wanted to show you, as I've been showing, trying to show you step-by-step um, -step things, you know, some different styles of journals and the processes of completing them. So this one is um, ring bound. Like I told you in my last video, I don't really care for ring bound, but in a video where, or in a junk journal where it's a recipe junk journal or it's going to be a very practical take with me journal add as I use it journal ring bound is great because I can add things in or take things out as I need to so what I did here is I put some ribbons on it now the reason I did that other than for decorative is because I don't want the rings turning in and going through the holes um, repeatedly ripping my book so that is part of the reason that they have the lace and the, uh, the trim and it looks pretty so this is a file folder and I'm going to show you the binding quickly as well. I haven't seen this done before. I'm not going to say it's my own idea, but, or it is my own idea, but I'm not going to say I'm the first one to do it, but I have bound seam binding through it. It's vintage seam binding through the center hole. And then I put eyelets through and then of course I just tied it. And I, the reason I did it this way is for some stability. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because it is, even though it's very plain, it's chunky because um, I'm going to be using it. Uh, just a die cut and some stamping. I use magazine cutouts and me and my big ideas paper. This is a top tuck spot with a petal pocket. I got that from Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. I often use card making ideas in my junk journals and she showed how to make those envelopes for cards. This is my, actually my saddle, a picture of my saddle. Some recipe cards that I made with um, my, hmm, what's the word, letterpress machine, uh, plates. And I will do a video if anybody is interested on how to use the letterpress machine with your big shot. Uh, not the machine, platform, sorry. Uh, some lace embellishment. My horse stamp. The pages are just coffee dyed. I'm just going to flip through real fast. This is a tracing paper pocket. Stamped in doily tuck spot. Flips up. Coffee filter tuck spot. Some tabs that I put in. This is um, a tuck spot as well. Uh, these are dimensional stickers, like there's just um, dimensional foam on the back. So it's a really nice way to add a tuck spot with a sticker because the, sti uh, the foam doesn't go right to the end. So if you have, um, if you want to make like uh, a die cut, a tuck spot, go ahead and add some foam and it will tuck under. It's not going to give you a huge space, but it will give you a fun idea, uh, a fun spot to work with. Stamping in the corner, a time card, pocket and tags. more lace. I love lace. Doily flips up and it's a t pocket on this side. Another stamp. This is an envelope that I've attached on the bottom so that it flips open and then you have a tuck spot on this side. Some ephemera. Just a doily. And then of course there's receipts for ephemera on that side. And 
And this is all being coffee dyed. I like coffee dyed paper. This is stickers. Oops. And this flips all the way open. A little pocket with some cards in it. I've done this video more than once, which is why some of it's kind of taken apart. Another sticker. And I will say I like the rings because they can add chunky embellishments. Um, and then of course, if they get in the way, I can flip the journal around and just kind of write on the side that doesn't have the embellishments. Or I can take that page out while I'm writing. This is tracing paper. It all opens up and then of course, it's folded down into pockets. And this is um, just a bag that um, my friend sent me that will be extra storage. And then this is the back of the book. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Any questions? or comments, you know, leave them below.